Um, take 42A. Clack. Clack. Okay, I did that. Action, Michael. Gosh. Whew. I texted my life coach about my idea for 13 second guided meditations. Yeah. Oh, he hasn't gotten back to me yet. What? Fine. I'm ready. All right. So this is my mark. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. And then I grab this bowl. Okay. And then dramatic look to camera. Hi, I'm Michael Piper Uni, your host for this very special episode of the Homemade Sketch Show. Mmm. Not only is it special because I love sketch comedy and been at it for 20... a long time, oh, but I also love baked goods. Oh, cliche alert, I love anything banana, plot twist, and zucchini. I live dangerously. My work set this down, uh-huh. And then I open the oven. Got it, got it, and pull it. Oh my god! Tyler! The oven is on. Why is the oven on? Oh my gosh, that's gonna leave a mark. You're gonna have to call my hand model agent and tell her I'm out for at least two weeks minimum. Cut the close up of me pulling out the muffs. Mm hmm. And let's do a wide shot so I can incorporate some sort of like dance element while I'm pulling out the muffins, you know? Like, what? Frizzy? I'll have you know, I have not had hair this long since my days in university. And if you had bought those discreet male bobby pins like I had asked for, then maybe my hair wouldn't be falling in my face, okay? You have really negative energy, you fart bucket! I am an empath. I feel all of the energies. That was way harsh, Ty. Being an actor, writer, director, producer, and doula requires a lot of tenacity and hard work, okay? Do you know how you can make it up to me? Musical fashion show, baby. A quick one. <gasps> Bling! Three, two, one. Okay, that's a wrap on rehearsal intro and musical fashion show and dance featuring Michael Piper Uni at MPY Creates and MPYCreates.com. Your host for tonight's The Homemade Sketch Show. to say you'd like some more beginner stuff, you know, to bring the poses down to your level. Okay, well, I've heard you, and uh, I have someone on here today, a fellow beginner like yourselves, to bring everything down to your level, uh, make it a little easier, you know, no judgment. Anyway, so here to do some modifications is Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda, welcome. Hi, oh, hi, oh, hi, hey there, how you doing? Welcome to Rhonda's Pad. <laughs> Rhonda, you ready to do some yoga? Heck yeah, I have never done yoga in my life, but I am ready to get on it like a cat in heat. Rawr! Okay, Rhonda, I have no idea how this is going to go, but, but that's just fine because I like to embrace the the uncertainty in life and just 
go with the flow. <laughs> Speaking of flow, I might have to pee, so if I disappear, you know that's where I am. A great reminder, we need to meet our bodies wherever they are at on any given day. No two practices are the same. Uh, so let's begin in a nice, easy mountain pose. Uh, breathe in and breathe out. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot, sorry about that. That's okay, Rhonda. Sometimes yoga will bring an unexpected release and we welcome that. Um, probably best though that we are doing this on the internet so we don't have to breathe the same air. <laughs> no judgment though. Let's get right into a balance pose. Okay, so we're going to do tree, one of my favorites. So you're going to stand strong on your left leg. Bring your right foot up either just above your ankle or more advanced, up above your knee. Make sure you're not on your knee. Hold that nice and strong. And if you can, start to wave those leaves. Look at those leaves coming in on your tree. And there we go, we've got some, some fingers here. Okay. If you can't do this though, don't feel bad. Just do what Rhonda's doing. Oh, holy butterscotch fudge, this is hard. I'm sweating like a snowman in a sauna. Okay, well, you just keep breathing, keep doing the best you can. Your tree might look more like a dying, hacked up bush than a tree, but that's okay, no judgment. Let's go over to the other side and do eagle. All right, so we're gonna cross our right leg over our left, and then we're gonna do the crisscross with our arms. Oh, whoops-a-doodle. <laughs> okay, and if you can't do this, you can do what Rhonda's doing. Oh, are you sure that Eagle shouldn't be like this? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, uh, oh, oh gee. He's probably looking a lot less like an eagle and more like a silly goose. <laughs> and one more breath. Oh. Rhonda, are you stuck? Okay, Rhonda, uh, just what you're gonna do, just, just swing your leg up, up, but watch your groin area. You don't wanna pull your delicate lotus lips. Uh, so, so just swing that up and then surrender to your mat. Okay. the universe that you are okay. Woo! <laughs> All right, well, now let's get into our warrior pose. Okay, I'm sorry you can't see my feet. Too bad. Relax into it, but, but relax with a stretch. Okay, and we're rising up like a warrior. And uh, dare I say, if you can't do this pose, do what Rhonda's doing? Ah! Hey. You gotta modify the pose and do what feels right for your body. Well, that's all that we have time for today. Um, please be sure to namaste, stay tuned for more yoga with Priscilla. Oh, and Rhonda! <laughs> Excuse me. Be well, everyone. I will continue to work on my acceptance. Hey, you cool cat and kitten, it's Carol Baskin from Big Cat Rescue. Are you here for confession? You betcha! I just want to be my highest possible self. <laughs> well, God and I are listening. Thanks, champ! Ready whenever you are. Gosh, where to start? It's just been weighing on me, you know. If you do things in a certain way that is on purpose or accidentally, you become rich. <laughs> I see. And my husband, Don, had a lot of money. A haul. One day, we got this meat grinder and Don threw in some wood chips for the tiger cages and 
we realized that the thing could just cut anything. I mean, you could even cut bone if you wanted to. <laughs> then what happened? Nothing. It was just expensive. I see. And I just felt so bad, you know, making him buy it. After Don disappeared, I donated the thing to a school, so they melted it down and used it for metal shop. What else would you like to confess, Carol? You can tell me anything. Well, this is a little idiotic, but on the morning that Don disappeared, I told the police that I remember looking out the window and the next thing I could remember, it was pitch black outside. Was this a lie? Well, kinda. You see, I remember taking out the sardine oil that we usually slather all over the tiger food to make it appetizing for them and putting it next to the ax in the tool shed that Don usually works. Then what happened? I made breakfast. Go on. I made the best pancakes that morning. They were just so delicious. You could drool on them. The syrup was just like... <laughs> were you celebrating something? I was celebrating freedom. Freedom from? Freedom for the cool cats and kittens at Big Cat Rescue, of course. <laughs> I see. Well, thank you, Carol. Same time next week? You betcha! This is a wholly exciting experience. Have a good day, Carol. Carol Baskin, June 28th, 2020. Confession number 1196. Ooh, I love a musical challenge. Okay, uh, ooh, Madonna. Oh, there's so many good ones. Okay. Every little thing that you say or do, a shut up. Or, oh, rest Brianna Taylor's killers. Hey, who's next? <gasps> Spice Girls, okay. Uh, uh, slam it to the left, arrest Jonathan Mattingly. Shake it to the right, arrest Miles Cosgrove. Shake it to the front, arrest Brett Hannes Kennickson. How do you say his name? Hey, who's next? I don't know any Zane songs. Ooh, Adele. Never mind, I will find someone like you to arrest because all cops our bastards, please stop killing black folks. I'll remember you next vote. Let's get the police defunded right now instead. Let's get the police defunded right now instead. Get addictive. Bruno Mars, um, it's a beautiful night, we're looking for something dumb to do. Hey baby, I think I want to protest with you. Let's do one more. Selena Gomez, um, can't keep my hands off my guns, cause I'm an asshole cop. I don't have enough training to do my fucking job. Okay, last one, I promise. Oh, look at the stars. Look how they shine for you. And all the things you do. Because Black Lives Matter. Each week, the Homemade Sketch Show features a new musical guest. Here with their original song, Twisted, Sergio Rivera and Jolie. Hi, my name is Sir. That's S. E. R. I'd like to thank the Platform Group for inviting us on to the Homemade Sketch Show, and my collaborator Joe Lee, who you will see singing, and of course Justine, who helped us co-write the song. This song was written pre-COVID, and it's truly humbling to be able to share this with you now. Don't forget to stand against hate, and without further ado, twist it. It's true, the 
This is how I feel Calling your name Wanting you next to me It's how I do Falling for you Was it easy? Was it breezy? But here I am Watching you You're falling asleep I guess we knew When I met you You would say Even though you try me And I try you isolation and the owners are more than ready to say so long Steve so hold on to your hats and your pants cuz here comes Sylvia hmm. Steve Steven Steven
Stephen, I know you're here. I know you're here, Steve. <gasps> Eureka, he is here. Hello, heathens. I am not glad you're here with cooking with modern-day Santeria. But since you're here, I'm going to show you a very difficult recipe my abuela bequeathed to me that will surely kill all the real-world demons and probably get you arrested. Let's begin. I didn't kill this chicken with my hands because I'm vegan, but my chihuahua did. Now I hope you have your water nice and seasoned with the tears of white fragility, but make sure you have turtles doodle in it for extra magic. You can put that aside as we go ahead and smash the patriarchy with some other ingredients. Like my abuela used to say, you put the caca in first. I mean, she would say it in Spanish, but I figure I do this in English to relate to your language. Como coco. Now let's add the ingredients after you have prayed to Oshun to unlock the portal of our ancestors. Pitbull will help. This is a very important step since my abuela never looked at another man after my abuelo died except for this international superstar. Hmm. What the colonizers did to our people. Then you can cook it at 400 degrees for 20 minutes while dancing to the sounds of bata drums. Ay, 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 ay. Well, I know in my cold, dead heart, something died somewhere. So, success. Isn't that right, Abuela? Let it be. Oh, I'll never leave the seat up again. I'll rather miss a safe space. Or a really well sung and lightly choreographed apology for forgetting it's your right to an abortion. I know this baby's mine, but now's not a good time with your career in line. So abort it, go on. At first I thought it wasn't right, but your body, your fight. So let's make up tonight with a condom on. No matter the circumstances, <laughs> your boy singing D got you. So call me singing D. AKA the breakup to makeup singer. Cause I got a song for all occasions. Yeah. Ah! Oh, well, that's all folks for tonight. Oh, I had so much fun hosting the homemade sketch show. And guess what? Every Friday night at 6 p.m. Eastern, there's a whole new show with a new host and new funny. Make sure to tune in. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Join us on our Facebook watch group, Friday Nights to Watch the Show. And make sure to watch the videos on Instagram all throughout the week. 
like, share, comment, uh, just spread the love because guess what? Making funny is so much fun and we want to share it with the world and put some smiles on people's faces. Also, if you enjoyed tonight's show, please go to the link below at www.theplatformgroup.org forward slash donate. Platform Group is fiscally sponsored and all donations are tax deductible. Oh, and remember that all the donations tonight go to the artists that you watched doing the thing. And guess what? It's not that easy doing our thing, so we would really appreciate you supporting the arts. Ah, oh, once again, I had so much fun and thank you for riding this journey with me.